I don't know. Sorry about that, guys. I think it cut me off. Anyways, we was looking at this one here. It says Elizabeth Morrison, who died September the 6th, 1816, at 37 years. That is wild. And I'll have to add that other little piece in somewhere. There's JM. All right. Then we have... This is James. He's the son of... I have no idea. Anyway, it looks like he was born August the 31st, 1833. And he died in February something. 1853. Looks like he might have been 20. I'm not sure. I wouldn't swear to it. Then we have a broken piece down here. I'm trying to get these few right here if I can. These walnuts are hard to walk on. This one died in 1847. Okay. And Andres, Andres or, or Andrea or something like there. I'm not sure what that says. Then we got a, another uh, foot plate, footstone. I mean. Then we got Mary. It says Mary died in eight, uh, died in 1845. It looks like or 1851. I believe that's a four, but I wouldn't swear to it. There it is. Then you got Catherine. She's the wife of Isaac Yeager, Yeager or something like that. Died a. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. 1855. I do see that. This is Isaac. He died in 1878. That's a cool looking stone. Not seen any like that one. Right there. I'm having to use the old gimbal too, that guys, because. The other one won't work in this wind. So, yeah, give me just a second. But the other one will not work in the wind. So, we're, we're just doing what we can. Ah, shoot. Trying to get this thing to do something real quick. All right, here we go. Let's move on, guys. These walnuts are going to make me fall. I'm going to try to speed up if I can. I'll never get this thing done. It's a lot of cemetery. All right, here's Elizabeth. She's the wife of G.W. Harris. Died July the 3rd, 1876. On that one, I ain't seen any stones like that one either. That one looks like it might have been laying down or something. I don't know. That's kind of different. Then we have... Of course, it could be the squirrels and stuff. That one, can't see nothing on it. Or I can't. It's getting dark on me in this area. I can't see nothing. This one's kind of cool. I don't know what's going on with the top. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, it's got the little... Hang on a minute, guys. Let's get off a minute. Uh, probably a black widow come out at me. That is kind of a neat stone. It's got the little thing that tapers down. And it's like that. That's pretty cool. I've not seen any like that one. That's a neat stone. Now let's get these other two right here real quick. This is probably going to be a child or an infant on this one. That looks like a Samuel on that one. And he died in 18... That looks like 1820. But I wouldn't swear to it. Huh. Then you got this one. They died in 1876. They might be coming to rain on me. Might have to get back and get the umbrella. Not sure what's going on. Yeah. This one died in 1875. It's a William. It's about all I can tell. Something about J and a, a D there or something. But I ain't, that's all I can see. All right. Then we got this cool looking stone right here. And this is Martin. Martin died in 1862, January the 2nd, right down at the very bottom. That's a cool looking stone too. I ain't seen anything like that one. Wow. All right, guys. I think we're done done now. This one's a broken right here. It's a broken pieces. 
All right. There's a lot of small ones here. A lot of small ones. That's why I didn't get the other gimbal too. Because one thing, it wasn't working the wind. The wind blowing like this, it's going to stop it from working. Plus, uh, uh, these low stones would mess it up every five seconds. So that's one of the reasons why I didn't bring it out either. But anyways, here's our next one. It's Jeremiah Surefry, 1841 to 1895 on that one. That's pretty cool on Surefry. But hang on a minute, guys. Then we got Heath, W.H. Hanna, 1834 to 1909, and Susanna, 1839 to 1906. Then we have Gordon. He's the son of Benjamin and Penelope, or something like that. Uh, anyways, he died March the 9th, 1843, and at one or four years, six months, and 14 days. Then we got that one. I can't see much on it. Then we got this cool looking one. It says our father and our mother. It's going to be Benjamin Heath. Died 18, uh, October the 5th, 1879 at 84 years, 10 months, and 8 days. Then you have... Uh... Pramila, Pramila, the wife of B. Hart, Heath, uh, died August the 30th, 1888, at the age of 84 years, 9 months, and 24 days. That's a good looking stone right there as well. All right. Let me cover these couple while I'm here. There's a few openings here and there. I think the stones are just gone where the openings are. Because they're piled up everywhere. Anyways, this is Anna uh, Mur Murfield, 1823 to 1892. Penelope Smith, 1885 to 1893. A couple footstones. Here's a Lucy. Lucy died in a... Uh, I really can't see it to tell you on that one. But there is Lucy. These little stones will break your back, too. Oh, there's a bunch of them too. Whew. I don't know who's on this one. There's a spider. I ain't going nowhere near that one. Forget it. I'm gone. I don't like bugs. Spiders are definitely no. Here we have Adam Johns Jones. Adam Jones. Looks like he might have died in 1865. On this one. All right. I can't see that one to read it. There it is. Uh, got a bunch of little ones. These are just name plates. GHH -H on that one. GLJ on that one. Then you got, I'm not sure on this one, but they died in 1860 at 36 years. Five months and 19 days. Then we have, oh, more than one when it hurts your legs. George, on this one, almost fell there. I can't read nothing on this one, guys. There it is. Then we got Mother on this one. Right there. 1817 to 1887. Wow, this is something. Oh, this is neat. I've never seen a stone like this one. I don't know what all that means. In the memory of Joseph, the son of Abram and Sarah Jones, died January the 6th, 1854. That stone is in excellent shape. But I don't know what all that means. I know the tree. That might be the mason symbol. I'm not sure what that is in the middle. Or the star or that thing over here. That's pretty cool, guys. I'm going to have to get a picture of this. So hang on just a minute. <sighs> well, I don't know how, why it's not letting me pause. Where the heck's my pause button? Crazy thing. There it comes. 
You know, most of them say died. Oh, it does say die. I thought, I thought it said dead. Whoops. Anyways. Then we got this one. They died in 1838. Down at the very, about the middle of the uh, stone. All right. Let's see what we got right here. I don't think we got this row. Adam, Adam Freeze. Died October the 20th, 1852 at 18 years on that one. Then we had uh, an infant or two right here that we didn't get. I'm trying to get away from these walnuts. They're about to trip me. There's that one. And that one. Oh. I got to get this one right here real quick. There's this one. That's kind of different. Right on that one. All right. Now I'm going to get away from these walnuts for a fall. This is James. He died in, looks like in 1833. Or 53. Something like that. Then we got a Jones here. It's Laura Rosetta Jones, 1875 to 1878. Rest in peace, little one. Then we got Del Delmore. Delmore. 1886 to 1889. Rest in peace, little one. Then we got Sarah Jones. 1882 to 1889. Rest in peace, young one. Then we have Jones again. We have John E. R. Jones, 1850 to 1931, and Elizabeth J. Wife, 1856 to 1899. On that stone right there, I took a look at stone. Then we have uh, that tends to go over there and sit at the water and look. Anyways, in the memory of. Elizabeth Morrison. Oh, we just done that one. We done that row. Okay. So we're up to the next row. And see, there's a big opening in between here now. All the way down through here from the Jones down. And then we catch these guys. And there's a big opening in front of them. Which I done the ones that's on the other side of this tree already. So, yeah. This is Mary. Uh, wife of... Of, I'm trying to figure it out here. I don't like these stones. Fred, no. John Freeze. This is, oh, okay, this is Mary's. Mary, wife of John Freeze, died no, uh, November the 6th, 1845. So you have to actually read it. Mary, and then go the wife of. John Freeze died November 6, 1841. He was 66 years, or she was, and six months. Kind of confuses you on them stones right there, but they're a neat stone. But there it is, 1847, or five on her. I think it's a seven, but I'm not sure. Anyways, let's move on. Then we got John. Yeah, it was her, because here he is. He died January the 2nd, 1853. He was 70 years old. Then we have another footstone with J.F. Then we have John Freeze. Uh, this one died in 1848, April the 1st. It looks like 71 years. All right. Please tell me we ain't got more wanted trees. I think I got my legs hurting already. I'll never get done with the cemetery here. This is a big one too. It's a beautiful place, though. It is pretty. Then we have this one down here. I can't tell nothing about it. There it is. All right. Then we have... Is that a stone outside the fence? 
Huh. Almost looks like a stone outside the fence. Anyways, guys. This is Abigail Adams. She died May the 18th, 1871. In her 64th year. On a stone right there. Then we have Daniel. Coleman. He died July the 16th, 1854. On that one. And they fly down through here. Thought they were going to run over. They point in. Then you got mothers at rest. This is Mariah A. Coleman, born April the 15th, 1811, and died January 23rd, 1893. It says, please, or something, something, thy silent. Something in heaven above. I don't know exactly what that meant. Then we have this stone that says, what, Zane? On that one. He died in 1845, right down at the bottom, October the 17th, on Zane. I love this post. I bet this thing's been in here since the original cemetery. Look at that, guys. Is that not cool? I bet this old fence has been here since then. Hey, look at that. That is an awesome looking post. Wow. Nice place. Well, I'm trying to see if there's any over in there. That almost looks like took a stone at the corner down there. That didn't make it inside the cemetery. So I don't know. We may have to peek at that real quick. While we're here. The Lord knows I don't want to come back up and down this hill. No, no, no. Uh, might be just a corner for the cemetery one of the originals or uh, one they tried to do with put in or something this all looks cool as crap there anyways there it is that's the water again awesome awesome all right let's go see i'm glad i done that now because i don't want to have to walk up and down this hill The only problem is the rose is like, you know how they done in old cemeteries where the rose here and then it goes there and jumps around. Yeah, where you up and down, going up and down the hill to catch one one grave. That's the way it is. Anyways, this is Margaret. She's the daughter of Daniel and Mariah Coleman. Died September the 11th, 1877. Looks like she was three years, five months, and 12 days on that one. And I do apologize about the shaking. But I'm trying to balance myself, walk on a bank, and my legs are the best. Everybody knows that. And I'm doing the best I can. So, yeah. I probably won't get much of this done today. Probably just a couple videos. Because it is tiresome in doing stuff on, on these fields. Anyways, here's Murray. She's the wife of Jacob Heck. Born in Frederick... C O uh, M something 1802 and died June the 23rd 1878. She was 76 years old. All right, she was 76. Then we have a veteran here. Hang on, better read it. There it is. They're gone. I oh, am. Here's another veteran here. He served in the uh, Civil War. No. The War of 1812. Uh, I can't see if I can make out a name or not. I can't. There it is. This one was... Uh, the first one was Civil War. Right here. Right here, but you can't make out nothing. I don't think. I can. There it is. Hi, right, guys. We're heading this way. It'll get a little tighter in a minute. But down in here is a lot of opening. I think the stones are gone. I believe there are people buried here because there's dips everywhere. It's hard to walk because of them. But I think through the years the stones have gotten done away with. But I got an area right in here I got to knock out before I can get up there and get it maybe some rolls. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. Oh. Whew. 
it has been trying to rain too so yeah all right we made it to dumb lap here dumb lap in the memory of sarah m august the 6th 1823 to november the 1st 1906 she's gone but not forgotten well they've been saying that for a long time ain't they you know here we got I don't know what them initials are, but there it is. Here's another. Then we have, what, Ralph? Or something. I'm not sure what that name is. Anyways, they died in 1853. On that one, that's the son of J and H and S and M Dunlap. Then we got a double right here. Right here. Looks like they died in eight, uh, December the 22nd on this one and 20 December the 21st on that one uh, 15 days and 10 day, um, months on this one it must have been twins because they lived 15 days and 10 months or wait a minute I'm not sure what that says I'm not sure but anyways that's a set of twins I believe. All right, here we go. <sighs> as far as date, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm, all I can do is stand here to walk and do this. There's that one. Then we got this one. It's in the memory of Catherine, the wife of Francis Marley. She died in 1836 on that one. I'm gonna get a picture of this one guys so hang on just a moment yeah then we have Frank more Morley Morley on this one he's a veteran served in 18 uh, war of 1812 then we have John he died in January the 25th 1826 on this one at the age of 11 years and one month on that stone. All right, guys, here's our next one. I can't tell much on that one. There it is. I can't tell much on these two. Here. And here. But there they are. All right, now we gotta catch some of this. Whew. So we're going back down the hill for a bit. So I know where I'm at. I'm trying to knock out this corner so that I can get off this bank some. This one died in 18, looks like 61. I'm not sure who it is. There it is. All right. Then we have, may have to go under the trees for a bit. It's starting to rain on me. Can't read that one. Uh, can't read that one. I don't know if this one's upside down or what. Probably can't flip it to tell. Yeah, it was upside down, but it don't, still ain't going to show nothing. You can see the design. But we at least flipped it up right. All right. Hills never have been my friend. Especially nowadays. There's another child or an infant on that one. That looks like a Miltilda, maybe. Or Maria. Then we got a lamb on this one, so it's gonna be a child or an infant on this one. This is Elsa J, the daughter of A and E and J Plinkett, I think, died December the 11th, 1862 or 7, at the age of one year, 10 months, and 12 days. All right, that's down. Then we have this one and it looks like a henry that's all i can tell though his name is henry a big old stone though it's about three foot long like a broken land on the ground there it is so you got places like this that are just concrete i think and i believe it's a piece of concrete and the stone's gone but there's a dip here so i know this is a grave it's like when you look down through there you can see the dips but Anyways, we'll move on. 
We got, I got time to talk about dips we got recording today. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is George W. Hanna, 1847 to 1935. He was in the Civil War. All right. Then he got a big old tree between him, a big old walnut tree, no, oak tree. This is oak. And you got Sarah L. Hanna, 1850 to 1900. So I bet you that tree right there is probably visiting both of them. Then it has, then it has names like Winnie, Nora, I don't know, on these two. And they're right beside each other. So I'm going to say that's their children they lost. If I was a guessing man, I'm just guessing. You know, just guessing. This is just a guess. Not 100% sure. Anyways, that's my guess. Then we have Doctor. I have a doctor here. It's going to be WM. And I don't know if that's an E or an L or what that's supposed to be. Black. 1880 to 1953. They make that funny little letter there, and I don't know what that is. Then we have Joseph. I'm not sure on the last name. But it looks like he might have died in 1878, April the 5th, on this one. He was 25 years, it looks like. Then we got W.A. Black. That's a good-looking stone right there. 1840 to 1917. And Eleanor Black. 1856 to 1980. And I think I answered my own question. I think that's supposed to be... Uh, e, Eleanor. So that thing back there may be an E. Then this is Salza Drake. Looks like 1819 to 1864. Then we have, says mother was in World War II. That's Emily Drake, 1827 to 1912. Then the World War II thing's at her, so I don't know if he, it's him or her. Anyways, then we got Luke uh, Freeman right here. Says he was in the Civil War right there. Then we have J.D. Drake, 1858 to 1929. No, three. That's a three. That's a three. Almost looked like a nine, but then it cut off. Then we got Benjamin Drake, 1863 to 1943, and Francis, 1858 to 1931. That's a good-looking stone, and it's engraved good, where it's going to be around for years. That's going to be around for a good while. Good job, guys. Whoever done that one, good job. So I'd say they're no longer around, whoever engraved that one. I might be wrong to say that, but I'd say they're not. There's a lot of small stones that bend your, break your back in here. And these are gone on top, so I don't have any idea who they are. That one, they died in 1855. This one, they died in 1858. These are in the ground so far, you can't tell who they are. So here, I'm just going to pop on them and just go. And then we got to this one. We got Reba. She's the wife of Joseph Evans. Died October the 3rd, 1864. She was 59 years. And then we got Joseph Ed Evans right beside her. And he died September the 5th. Uh, 18,054. Or, I don't know. 180,054 at the age of 50. I think it's supposed to say 1854. But somebody messed up and they just went with it. Anyways, here we go. <laughs> then we got Catherine. She's the wife of T. Jones. 1829 to 1855. That's a good looking stone. Then we have this one right here. I can't see it, but there it is. And then we have this one I can't see, but there it is. But I can't read it. It's for, for Isaacs, but all I can tell on that one. Then we got this little tiny thing here. Another infant child stone right here. I can't read it, but there it is. 
And then we got this one right here. A lot of these you can't read because they are kind of close to the road, but not really kind of. I mean, I don't know. Anyways, some of them just hard to read. But let's catch a few of these while we're here. I'm trying to get it all knocked out in this one area until I get that row right there. All right, this is... Ooh, I have no idea. Anyways, looks like they died in... Looks like 18... That is 1837. That's what it says. 1837, but I can't... Don't know the name. There it is. All right. I'll get those when I get up that little bit of bangs. I don't feel like going there and walking right back. All right, here we go. So we got at rest, Laura May, the wife of J.E. Spiro, 1867 to 1914. Then we have, I don't have any idea what that says. There it is. Then we have Spiro again. We have William P., I mean William B., how did I say P? B. It's B. Uh, 1837 to 1927 on that stone right there. Then we have a good walk. Well, no, we done those. I think. Huh. Yeah, we did those. We dropped down to get those. That's what it was. And to catch them up. All right, so we should be caught up. Then. Yeah, because I've done all those. All right, we're caught up then. Then we're up to Janet C. She's the wife of John Hamilton, 1837 to 1914. And mm, it's a good, neat looking stone. I ain't seen too many of them like that with a top like that. And they got a handshaking down here, and it's John. So it's her husband, John Hamilton. And he died. I have no earthly idea. I can't see it, guys. There it is. But that's what we're at now. We're almost to the rows. Hey, awesome. Then we got. Ooh. I don't like to mess their names up when I can't see them. It's hard to say. This is something Morrison. Died December the 16th, 1888, at 25 years, one month, and. 29 days, that's a good looking stone too. Oh, then we got a bunch of people. Then we got Gwen, I think. Gwen Morrison died May the 12th, 1884, had 53 years, 9 months, and 11 days. His wife, no, that wouldn't be Gwen or Gwen. I'm not sure what that is. Anyways, this is Margaret. I do see her name. She died March 27th, 1888. 66 years, 4 months, and 3 days. And that's G-U-I-A-N. Gwen. Gwen. Then we got Morrison again. And I can't see what the top name is. But they died September 25th, 1871. 16 years, 4 months, and 18 days. So in other words, it's the mother, father... And their son on that stone. All right. Now we got it. Then we had. Don't like a gunshot. Then we have one missing. Then we have these, and they don't have nothing on them. Or not that I see. And there's foot markers. And that takes us to this stone. Right here. Oh. Right here. And then. I can't tell anything about it, but there it is. And I do apologize about the shaking, guys. There ain't nothing I can really do about it. The other gimbal won't work, and you guys know I shake, so. All I can do is do what I can do. That one's kind of eerie with the cobweb across the top. This is the old part of the cemetery. This is the Jones. I'll only see the last name, but that's all I can see. And I don't know if he's just on one side. I'm going to look around it. Now there's somebody else in here, but you can't see it. It does look like we have some problems with some spiders. Big time. And they can stay right where they're at. But we do not make spiders. 
No, no, no. All right. And then I just says, Mother. Father, there's somebody here that's got some money. That's Frank. 1864 to 1944. And then we have Mother. I can't read Mother, but there she is. And then we have this one. This one here is a veteran. Right here. And there's this thing. I can't really tell what war he's in, but there it is. All right. Let me get these two right here, and then we'll end this one. And we'll start a new video. I believe this is the only two we like right here. Yeah, because that was broken. I said read the dates. So this is Blanche Jones, 1844 to 1916. And then this is Aaron, 1873 to 1939. Yeah, did I get those? Yeah, I got those because I was talking about the pointy top. No, that was the one out front. Hold on a minute, guys. Get confused in these when they're like this and they're all chopped up. If you're not in a row, you're just catching little pieces. Here's this one. We can't see it and read it, but there it is. I don't want to miss these two. They were here. And then here's the other one. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to end this one. Uh, there'll be more definitely coming out of this cemetery. And I don't know how much I'll be able to cover this one. I don't know if I'll be able to cover the whole thing or not. There is, it looks like, does look like some newer. And then on over there in the corner, it looks like they've opened up a new garden altogether. So I'll record what I can of it. But an hour and a half drive here, and you know, you re record two or three hours, you got an eight hour day in here. So, you know, it ain't long before you got an eight hour day. So I don't know how much I'll be able to get of it, but I'll do what I can. Anyways, please share, like, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you watching it. Peace. I'm out of there.